Hello Zumba Wear lovers. Um, I've been inspired by a student of mine who's cut up one of her, I think they're called Fast Dash Zumba Wear tops. Um, and I sort of wasn't wearing mine as much as I'd like to, so I think I'm going to cut it up today for you and fingers crossed. Okay, so this is the top that we're going to cut up. Um, basically, what you want to look out for is you, you want to try and keep where the Zumba is there and where your little logo is on the back. Mine's faded out a bit because I've been washing it so much. But, we'll see how we go. So, what I'm going to do to start is take away from here, just inside the seam. I'm going to cut just one at a time. Cut the top and bottom separately so you can follow that line closely. get to where it joins, I'm going to keep following this line across because I want to pull it and tie it and have an off the shoulder look. So, keep cutting this way. And I'm going to pretty much follow that but I'm going to because you've got the logo on the back, I'm just going to cut a little bit higher. And meet it up with where I cut before. Sorry, I always forget to talk. I feel like a bit of a dill standing at the dining room table talking to myself. Okay, so we've got rid of that part, you've still got your logo on the back, just tidy that because it looks a bit crass. Just to make it nice and neat. Alright, now. I want to do it so that I've got some, some little ties on the side here, basically. So make sure your seam is lined up. Let me just make sure you can all still see what I'm doing. Yep. Okay. So. This is the tricky part because I don't actually know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Alright. I'm going to basically cut just inside the overlocking... Oh, that's a tough bit. Inside the overlocking under the arm. Follow that curve. Down to the point where it sort of starts to hug around your body at the bottom. All right. And then I want to try and cut these together just so that the straps roughly meet up. So we're going to start skinny, because obviously the whole piece flares out. Start skinny, and move it out a little bit. Same again. Now remember, as you stretch and pull these two, it's going to get tighter and tighter and a bit more intricate. So what I've done is, the ones that I had before, I basically took and cut them all in half again, just to get those nice and skinny. Now before we stretch, we've still got the dangly bits on the end that were where the sleeve finished. So if you want to just run through, just so that they curl right to the ends, cut those bits all off. Otherwise, I mean you might like it, you get that flat look at the end. Um, but yeah, if you want them curled nice and tight all the way to the end, we just... Cut those all off. Done. And then we are going to stretch and pull. Tighten them all up. Now luckily, this one is tight on the side. So I will actually be able to go up and tie it myself and not go and find somebody to help me get into it. <laughs> uh, although I got a tip 
the other day from Carolina who actually puts hers on. Okay, so this is the top at the moment. I have, sorry I'll turn so you can see, tied everything up through there and just done a little double knot on each down to the bottom one. But what I've found is it puckers a little bit there and I want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do, because I've got a bit more fabric to play with, I bought a larger shirt in this one, is I'm going to just go and quickly cut more smaller. Okay, so what I've done is I've snipped all the way through. Now because I didn't have as much fabric to play with on the bottom as I did on the top, and I quite like the long dangly bits, but the short ones don't look the same. I'm actually just going to cut where the short ones start, cut them off so that you can just see the knots. It'll look a little bit braided along that seam. And then have those ones swinging loose so it'll be that sort of an effect where you don't have the ones down the bottom and it's all the way up the top. Okay, so I've cut off the little short ones so you'll just see it's just a knotted pattern on the side there. I hope you can see that and left the longer ones for a bit of a dangle. Now I want to do a weave, basically this direction running up to the shoulder just to create a bit, bit of a point of interest on the back. So I'm going to pinch where I want to do it, shake it out. Make sure you pull and check that you haven't got the rest of the shirt caught up where you're about to cut because otherwise you'll be cutting all the rest of your shirt as well and you don't want holes everywhere. So you've got a nice straight line up to where I want to start. Alright, so I'm near the shoulder at the top here. I'm going to start with a small hole. And then start cutting wide enough so that I can weave it. And I'm hoping to get bigger and bigger and then smaller again towards the end. Try and keep them as even as possible. I mean, once they're stretched, you don't notice it too much if it's a couple of mil out or whatever, but... Um, Try and keep it straight, otherwise you'll end up with a chunk at the end. I used to get really crazy accurate and like measure with the ruler and everything. But by the time you pull it, you don't even notice, so. Just keep checking to make sure you don't have any other fabric that you're going to cut. You don't want nice little holes in the front of your top that looks like a moth got into your wardrobe. So that's about as wide as I want to go and then I'll start tailoring it down towards the end. Now I know a few of the girls actually use those cutting tools that are like the little handle with the blade on it. Totally up to you what you use. Um, I'm a scissors girl. I just think it's quicker and easier. Um, probably not as accurate as the other tools, but it sort of suits my purposes. Um, whatever you do though, whether you're using different cutting tools, scissors, whichever way you go, only use them for fabric. Don't use them on paper because it blunts the hell out of your scissors. So I'm getting close to the end here. Just a couple more little short ones. Okay, so you can see here, that is the end result just cut. So I haven't weaved it anything like that. If you want to go for a look like that, whoops, sorry, it's very hard to video over your shoulder. You could just leave it that way. Okay, so now we are going to weave. I'm going to weave starting at the top. Oh, can you still see that? Yep. Okay, start at the top and work my way down. 
So over and under, you've probably seen a hundred different videos on how to do the weave, so I'm not going to go into it too much with you. Over and under, over and under. So you're getting that sort of a look there. The more you weave, the quicker you get. I was super slow at this to start with. It's nice when you hit these nice big bits, you can go through quickly. I always, as a little tip too, if you haven't cut before, do it on a shirt you're not totally in love with. Or I started off using tops that I found I wasn't wearing anymore because I had new favourites and they'd sort of lost their sparkle in the Zumba wear wardrobe. So, you know, once you, once you find you're not wearing them or you know, they're a little bit outdated. Take that chance to cut them up, create yourself something new. You might find you have a new favourite that you've had sitting at the back of your wardrobe for six months, so. All right, getting fiddly. Looking a bit tribal and cruel, if I do say so myself. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I've got my seven-year-old hovering here at the moment, absolutely fascinated. Don't get any ideas about taking any scissors to your top. Okay, so at the very end, we need to finish it off. So you just want to cut a tiny little hole. Cut the last. Okay, so I've just come and put the top on and I'm just showing you how the weave looks across the back there. Just creates a bit more interest on the back. So, and the front bit obviously you still got that loose fringe. So you've got a bit of movement there in the shirt. Um, I may actually consider fringing up this sleeve later so that it matches the sides, but for now I'm pretty happy with just the, the off the shoulder and leave it as is. You could also, you know, get rid of that altogether cut that right away. All goes according to plan. All right, here we go.